here with my bro. Up close and personal conversations is close yeah. conversations with people that I admire, people that are fixtures in the game, people that are doing that thing, big things in a major way. And this dude is doing all of the above and so much more. I like to call him a family member, a brother, somebody who's just been solid all the way through and through. Super talented, Romeo Miller. What's going on? My guy. You like my brother from another mother. Real man. talk. People been thinking people we related. <laughs> we man. Day one right here. Yeah, for, for Y'all real. I don't know though. He was blasting me about my shirt before this. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I said he got a Normani shirt on. I said, is there something he wants to announce? Because we my know favorite artist, man. Like I, I bet told she you. is. <laughs> I told you just a minute ago, She's if I was amazing. rocking a Tupac shirt, you wouldn't be saying anything. I, I definitely wouldn't be Norman thinking what I'm shirt. thinking if you had on a Dubai shirt. I'm supporting women empowerment, you know? Hey, all I'm just saying. Who run the world? Girl, Normani. Hey. <laughs> I'm just saying, if we saw Rome, is she is she wearing a, a Romeo shirt? Look, man. This is my favorite artist. I'm like, just I don't saying, know what you're Normani and artist. Romeo, that's a power couple. That's Look, all I'm saying. Let me, just say, let me tell you something, though, uh, honestly, about Normani. She's one of my busiest friends, one right. of my more successful ones. And when right. I send my Bible study notes to all my friends, right. she's one of the first ones you see how he who flipped respond it on me? back to I, That's all I'm saying, though. He so shout out to her for that. He I'm just Bible saying. It. It. We get real spiritual. Friends support friends, Nick. <laughs> all right. Indeed. Indeed. Now, okay, let's talk about that since we're going to start here because we're going to get to the movies and the music and all of that but over the years uh you've been in this game for so long i mean i mean i mean i remember seeing you damn near nine years old or yeah. even might have been even younger just moving and ladies have always been all <laughs> over you and now you know wow nick this is what i came here to talk about i, I mean we had the little gold book we're not supposed I'm to speak not, on i'm me not and I, you are the gentleman of the game I, absolutely and you i'm a real keep, gentleman in the game i hear keep good it. things about you I'm if <laughs> only the world knew what was really going on this man is a master chef but you're a gentleman you i'm the same way that's why people respect we're gonna keep it really respectful okay i'm just gonna say because even within the movies that you do what is it that what what is that charisma what is that or that you possess, I know you got a, a real spiritual side yeah. as well, that you feel like, is it an unassuming thing? That's like, oh, I didn't know. Because I hear that, like, oh, I didn't know Romeo was such a such a man, such a gentleman. Yeah. Like, when it comes to that time of attracting the opposite sex, what is it about Romeo that it is that all these ladies are so drawn to? Man, um, it's crazy. I was having a conversation with a friend last night about this, and she was just like, A yeah. friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's a friend right now. It's, it's a friend. I got you. But uh, she was like, you're you're a protector, you mm. know, and I feel safe around you. And I think when a woman feel that, it's easy to want to cross that line. Because yeah. as you know, a lot of men don't really protect our women. Especially today. They put them down. Yeah. yeah. And I have four sisters, you know. My pops raised me yeah. to respect women. Absolutely. You know, I got a beautiful mother. It's like, I got I to gotta protect whoever's around me. I don't care if you're a friend or a future wifey yeah. or whatever. But I think that... That aspect of it. There it is. Right. That's that's well yeah. said, man. I, I I would have to agree, especially in today's day and age where uh women are sometimes treated as commodities and yeah. because of things like Instagram and it's like it's it's like, oh, we we don't we don't value the spirits, yeah. but it's just like, oh, we we care more about well, how look, she looks and what she can do Nick, for us. Warren Buffett made a, a great example. He said Back in the day, you understand how much we limited our resources, our resources, our world, because we didn't have women working in the workplace. Mm. It's like, why does it have Super to be limited. about the physical? Yeah, why yeah. does it have to always be about sex? Just, I mean, just the best our idea, the best worker. In the world, the, yeah, exactly. Our smartest people are women. Facts. So my thing is, even the opportunities. I don't care. I have people who work for me look like supermodels, and people just assume things. But I'm just like, what about this person's brain? What yeah. about this person's mind? So for me, it's just about giving that equal opportunity. Yeah, you know, and that's just how I look at it. Maybe yeah, because I come from a big family with sisters, and I understand the whole human side of things. Right. But I think we do live in a world where people is so much on the physical, especially right, right. with social media and everything, where I look more deeper. Yeah, like, I'm about the soul. Like everything about me is looking deeper into the soul. Very powerful, sir. Yeah. Now let's talk about Rome the Mogul. Yeah. Uh, I don't think a lot of people get the opportunity to hear about all the things you do behind the scenes. I mean, yeah. because we see you on TV, see you in the movies. Look, this is my new tat. It's still freshly peeling right now. What's it say? Mark four twenty two, one of my favorite verses. But oh, okay. It's about uh, what you do in the dark. Oh Everything yeah. Everything comes, comes to, to light. light. Absolutely. Know? And my thing is, what do you do in the dark? That's all that matters. Yeah. If you're doing right in the dark, it's gonna come back ten times fold. You know? Right. 
you doing evil in the dark, that karma's gonna come back. So for me, I never worried about people knowing how hard I work. And the sad thing with life is, they're like, how come Romeo is here? Right. They don't do the math. It's like, it's so many sacrifices that yeah. people don't see the obedience. Yeah. You know, uh, the failures. Right. You know, getting back up. And that's how we live our life. You know, you had my pops in here earlier. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't worry about, you know, the opinion of man or being praised by man. As long mm. as God knows, we good. There it is. A real spiritual side from from yeah. you, your father, your family. I've I seen the foundation has always been built. You guys always have wise words. And, yeah. and what's that? What's it like having Master P as a dad? What is it like having Master P as a dad? I mean, you was there as yeah. a young and you seen how he was. Because I, I was about to ask this question <laughs> because I think the Master P as a father today is different probably from before. Seeing yeah. your father's transition, seeing knowing like, because you were there as a baby to where he is this today, is what, to watch him become who yeah. he's become and yeah. being such a legend and OG. But I'm, there's the street side exactly, that we used to see. Why you think I'm the way I am, Nick? Let's just be real. Like People always say you're not like these other celebrity kids. Your dad don't Why play. do you think I'm the way? I'm just saying. Like yeah. My pop's not one of these top actor dudes yeah. who's in the, in the system and doing the Hollywood thing. Our family come from the streets. Facts. So you got to realize. Like for real, the streets. The streets. Not, just, not so, like the play streets. I'm my pop's right-hand man. So right. people don't take that in consideration just because we're presentable now. Yeah. And I was always presentable as a, a youngin. Yeah. People forget that this is what I grew up with. Yeah. And it, it was it was. So like even though the cameras lifestyle. and stuff, you're always there. You still grew up like a regular kid. I remember yeah. seeing you. <laughs> get disciplined and told what to do but yeah. it was always you were always super respectful yeah. even as a kid and we had an opportunity i mean I, we we made a, a a lot of your album at yeah. your crib you came to the crib man people don't know yeah it came to our crib i remember you came from san diego or something yeah, yeah. Told me your whip and you was like, look, I'm going to make your next hit single. Yeah. You slept at the crib. Yeah. You know, you was going to sleep in the car at one I was, time. I'm like, this I was, man I was is focused. dedicated. I was he focused. was like, man, I'll sleep in the car until we get this song right. Yeah, yeah. You stayed at the crib. Yeah. You knocked out music. And that's one thing I respect about you, your grind, your hustle. You know, a lot of people see the success now and they see the end result. I appreciate it, my brother. They don't brother. understand everything you had to go through to yeah. get there. And we made a classic. My Cinderella a classic. was a that's classic. A, that's a classic for real. <laughs> I was enjoying it. Had yeah. Tatiana Ali in the yeah. video. <laughs> Uh, that, hey, man, it, it, it was a good we look. We did the parents just don't understand. Yeah, we did that joint for Nickelodeon, yeah. man. We've been rocking for a minute, and it's, yeah. I'm proud of you, man, to see what you're doing in the film and television space now. So you're here to talk about another new banger, yeah. this new uh, project you got. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's called Game Day. This project is very special to me because it wasn't this big budget film. Right. It was a passion project, an right. indie film where... I didn't even have a trailer most of the times. So I was sleeping in the uh, locker room. Oh, wow. Room Yo, that's real school, independent which, making. Like, people don't see that. Yeah, yeah, I was in the high school bathroom. They put a bed in there. <laughs> I had the little heaters in Chicago, so it's freezing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I connected with this movie and the city of Chicago. Just It reminded me a lot like New Orleans. Yeah. You know, the people out there, it was very just genuine, real. And this movie, uh, we need this now. Every yeah. project that I'm a part of, you know, going into my adulthood, I wanted to have a meaning. I wanted to be bigger than me. Yeah. It's basically showing that we can't judge people by their covers. Wow. There's two different worlds. I play this character named Lucas. Yeah. And, you know, he's from the streets of Chicago, this kid who's smart, educated. Right. But his friends get murdered just because of their environment. Wow. And then he crossed paths with this smart, young, white businesswoman. Right. They have nothing in common, so you'll think. And so they play this, this game called basketball. Right, right. Which I call the sport of life because it changed my life. Life. It helped my dad. It saved his life. Yeah. All my cousins, my little brothers, everybody played basketball. Like right. That's what keep us on track. Right. And you learn so much just by having one conversation with a stranger. Yeah. And that's what this movie is about. You got to take the family out to see it. It comes out October 4th. Um, Congratulations. This, yeah, this is a passion project for me. This I think it's probably like six years old, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it, it won a lot of stuff in the film festival world. Okay. And now it's finally coming to theaters. Man, that's a so. beautiful thing. And then let's just talk about, you got mu new music as well. I'm coming back to music, man. Is that, that you made the yeah. announcement. So Normani got a Romeo shirt on right now. <laughs> Look, friends support friends. Nick. I'm gonna have a Nick Cannon shirt. Hey, on. I'm, I'm gonna get saying. you. There's a couple. So when I have a Nick, sure you I don't want to hear all that when I'm wearing a Nick shirt. I, you knew you That's won't. all I'm saying. I would just say thank you, and my then brother. And I'm gonna wear another shorter shirt. You know, what I'm just saying. <laughs> As you should. George Smith or something. <laughs> As you know. should. Are you, are you dropping names out I'm there? I'm just saying. There's more names. Who else out there popping? Uh, Lizzo. <laughs> Hey, that's my shorty. Day I would wear. Right there. I would wear a Lizzo shirt yeah, so I'm today. Just saying, I don't want to hear none of that. We support each Nick other. One, I'm not reading into anything. It's women empowerment after that. There it is. Who run the world? 
Normani. Normani. Women. <laughs> Women. Girls. <laughs> there it is. I got my brother, yeah. Lil Romeo. I can't. I was about to say Lil Romeo. It's all good. Romeo That's Miller. Let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah. The transition from Little Romeo yeah. to Romeo. You probably did it more gracefully than most. You actually yeah. went to college, yeah. got to play college hoop, and then even on the other side of that, we saw you as a man. Like, yeah. cause you know, we remember all of the. You were you were part of that. Even I, we were all part of that young kid rapper girls yeah. going crazy on tour, all of that stuff. And then you took a step back and said, "Yo, I'm gonna go get my education." Talk yeah. about that for a minute. Well, you gotta realize, um, everybody have to grow up. Yeah, I knew they I knew don't want us to grow up though, Rome. Child they want you to be little Romeo. Yeah. They don't want us to come off Nickelodeon. Exactly, that's the problem because we're a product. Right, we're a brand. Mm. You got to realize, SpongeBob don't ever grow, grow up. up you know? <laughs> yeah. A lot of these brands and products don't grow up. So in real life, that's why you have that child curse, you know, right? Childhood curse where these kids go off rail because because they don't know what to attach themselves to because yeah, there's no you realize, foundation. Look, this is what you know when you're you're young at that age and you're successful, right? Right. You're dependent on so many other people's opinions. Right. They're your validation. Right. If you don't understand that, you don't need man's validation to be successful, then you're going to live life a different way. That's why people like Denzel, Will Smith, yeah. they have longevity to rock. The right. rock is grateful every day because he became successful as an adult. Right. He's been through all the bullshit, yeah. you know, the failures, and he didn't depend on one's opinion. Facts. But as a kid, you still developing. Yeah. I always use Justin Bieber as a prime example because he's an amazing talent, right? Yeah. And he became successful because of his talent. Right. And the world don't realize some people just want to do what they love to do. Yeah. Some people don't want all the, the glory all the attention to yeah. be a role model. And even as a kid, you go give any kid $100 million at the age of 17, you think they're going to be the best role model? Yeah, they're going to wild out. <laughs> you got to be prepared for this. Facts. And that's what I had as a kid. Like, I seen my dad. Yeah. You know, I seen a success. I seen a man who worked his ass off and people still throw rocks at him. Yeah. So I knew what was coming. Yeah. And something that people may not know, I saw my cousins die when I was eight and then mm. when I was 13. Wow. So I wasn't trying to be the most successful uh, child star. I was just trying to be my most successful. Yeah. I was young when I started, so I'm like, I may die tomorrow. I may die at the age of 11. Real I got to be my best right now. Be the best you you and can I, be. Yeah, and that's that was always my my dedication, my focus, and my obedience to this game and my outlook on life, knowing that I'm doing this for me. Yeah, you know, I'm doing this for my family. And with that being said, it's like it's crazy because we live in a society where people are going to. They're gonna put you on a pedestal, right? Yeah. And they're gonna compare you to you. To, it's just crazy. You to you. They're gonna say, just I made all this history. It's like Michael Jordan. It's, it's basically saying just because Michael Jordan did it 15, 20 years ago, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose, the youngest MVP. Yeah. You don't Nobody else will probably do that ever again. Right. But as you grow, people they gonna knock you down as you get older. It's like a book. You have one climax. You don't have a 20 climax. Right. In right. Book. So my thing growing up, I knew that I'm, I went on a very high mountain, right? And yeah. the thing is, my high is up here. Other people's highs may be right here. So right. even if I come down a little, I'm still <laughs> you're way still above. above them. But a child doesn't really know that if you're not educating yourself, if you're not researching. Right. And that's like Justin Timberlake was a big influence on my really? life. I went on tour with NC, and he was always the most chill, laid back, family orientated person. Yeah. And that's what I kind of based my career off. Wow. When you look at his transition. Yeah. He didn't really have too many problems. Yeah. He just going went from right NC into it. To Justin Timberlake. Facts. And the thing is with that, because you got to leave the past in the past. I can't keep going back. Well, I was a little Romeo. I sold 20 million records. This. Right. I won Billboard Awards. I was. Yeah. Like, it's like, no, what are you doing now? Yeah. And that's, nothing's wrong with that's that. That's wise. Yeah. But you, a lot of people go back and they're looking at what I did and they want to be respected off that, which you should get your props, but you got to know. No, we got to respect you. But we got to respect age, the king. People, this young generation don't care. That's, what are you doing now? Now. You know? And whatever and that is. you're doing is, a lot of big things now. Yeah. Right? Like, you don't, y'all don't stop. Like, yeah. that's the thing. When you hear the word no limit, you guys live that to the core. And we here having a close conversation with my brother, Romeo Miller. And, uh, I just gotta say this game day, all of that. That yeah. we we yeah. got we got new music coming. We got a title, the song, anything off the game day soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. You got you and your pops got one on there, we right? We got a few. No, we did the whole. Soundtrack. Oh wow. Yeah, we did the whole movie score. Everything. So when's that? When's the soundtrack available? Shoot, uh, that comes out next week with the movie as well. Wow. <clears throat> so y'all yeah. hear it? Low. Unusual. Say, yeah. The on un iTunes now. I'm just saying, we need to bump that thing, man. I'm just saying. Nick. Well, that's I'm running right saying. now. Introduce Play it. Play Unusual, my new single. 
Unusual featuring that Carlo is going down. This is music. Check it out. There it is. Yeah. Romeo Miller going all the way up. Close and personal conversations. Nick Cannon. Now, you see I got the vest on. I got to shoot from the hip. I got to ask you these Why real you got questions. This vest on, because I, I, I be shooting from the hip, I man. Get my vest yeah, I know, that, I know y'all got the no I limit vest. vest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to ask you these questions. Answer them any, any kind of way you wish. Yeah. First question Loved or feared? Loved or feared. What would you rather be? That's easy. Really? Loved. Really? Yeah, it gotta be genuine. No intimidation factors, none of that. You don't I want people to. from my pops where this could be the most intimidating man on planet Earth. Right. And people love him because it's about respect. Right. You know, it's not about being macho. You see, my dad's 6'5", big. Yeah. He's like that beast that, like, he could really be a monster if he wanted to. If he right? wanted to. You know, a lot of these rappers out here, they wanna be <laughs> right. what Master P is. Yeah, because yeah, he's he real. Like, he don't gotta, he don't gotta fake I it. I realize that God puts certain people in certain positions, positions for a reason. Because they can handle and it. And I seen my dad where he chose love over everything. Wow. He's been over backwards for his family, yeah. for his friends. I seen this dude make people millionaires and never ask for nothing. Wow. But how many people there for him if he needs something? Real deal. But the ones who truly love him, they're there. They rock with him. Yeah. So I always want to be loved because I see that love, it overcomes and conquers everything. There it is. Romeo yeah. Miller's greatest fear. Romeo Miller's greatest fear. <sighs> Probably losing in a basketball game to Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> That'll never happen because he's way nicer than me. Yeah, that'll never since happen. He, since he was a kid, I got video of me losing to him when Man, he was like in the backyard 4'11". Everything. And like always been nice. Yeah. I don't know, but other than that greatest fear... You know, God tell you not to fear, fear, be man, fearless. Fear nothing, yeah, yeah. You know, so fear no one but for God. For me, it's like the only fear it had to be family orientated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do everything for my family. I sacrifice my so family. So lo- losing that family connection, probably so. Yeah, that's yeah. real. Lighten it up real quick. Yeah. Favorite movie of all time. Favorite movie of as all a thespian. Time. I got a few. I have like yeah, three. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Top right, three. First, we're gonna start it off with Greece. Greece, Greece. I'm just saying, <laughs> we gonna start it off doing with this for Greece. the ladies. He I'm don't really saying. like Greece. Y'all be having movie nights. Yeah, yeah I bet you do. Greece, I bet you do. <laughs> Greece, The Notebook, <laughs> Titanic. Hey, the Notebook may be up <laughs> See, there. I was, yeah, I was yeah, seven I years whatever. late on The Notebook, but you know it made That's sense. That's a good ass movie. You know movie. it made sense yeah. as I got older. I'm yeah. just saying. All right, Greece. Um, we gonna give you Greece, that. Troy with Brad Pitt. Fire. I love Troy. Yeah. Um, I got the hookup by my pops. Yeah, the the OG one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hookup. Um, Hilarious movie. Classic. Dang. That's three, bro. All right, we're going to keep it there then. All right, so we're we, we going to rock there. Uh, best piece of advice you've ever received? Best piece of advice I've ever received. I grew up with Master P, man. I you got advice every day. day. Exactly. But probably uh, my best from my pop says something I live with, and this is why I work so hard. This is why I never – I don't care. I could make a trillion dollars. I'm going to be the hardest worker in the room. Yeah. But he said if they could do it, we could do it. Mm. It's they can do it, that we can do it. I need you to gotta be on, realize, on, on, even Steve, on a Jobs, t-shirt yeah, or Steve Jobs said this where it's like, what's the difference with any other human? Yeah. You gotta just educate yourself. You gotta believe in yourself. Yeah. You if, gotta put in the work. So if they could do it, we, we could, could go. Why it. can't why can't you create the next great the great game? Why can't you create yeah. water? You yeah. know, why can't you create the next great technology? Why can't you create the next great idea? Facts. Why not? It's right there for you. Yeah. Worst piece of advice you've ever received. Worst piece of advice, I would say, and you may, I'm just, you a busy man, yeah, so right. I, I need to see your perspective on this too, uh, but if you really care, you'll make time. That's contradictive. I'm just saying. Yeah, a, that, that, that's a finesse. It's, it's so that's many, a finesse. There's so many grays in there. You yeah, know? that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I've, I've heard that quite it's a so bit. so many grays where I'm a very busy person. Of course, I'm going to make time. I still time, care. Like, but it's like some things, that's a sacrifice that yeah. comes with chasing your dreams and goals. It's like you literally can't be everywhere for everybody. Yeah. No matter how much you care. So it's a lot of great lines. That's, yeah, I, I'd have if to agree really with you on care, that one, you'll Rome. make time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. That's, that's what that, that's, that, that means they just want more Romeo. That's all that is. Next question, man. <laughs> <laughs> we get to it. Uh, you're on an island. You can take three things. What are the three things you're taking? I'm on the island. I Stranded. Can three but you only take three. Three. I'm going to take a basketball. My first love. Okay. I'm going to be playing hoops on the island. Absolutely. I'm going to bring a, a sharp object. A sharp, just I'm a just case. Saying, yeah. You never know what you need. You, you never need. know. If I need to go hunting, I may need to fight something. I off. got you. You got one more thing you can take with you. Um, All my family. 
all my brothers, sisters. There it is. Well, you ain't gonna need the sharp just, You got the I'm squad just with put you. One in the, uh, yeah. That's all. That's one. You okay? got the squad with you. The fam gotta be on the island with me. We gonna figure it out after that. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, that's a show right there. The Bible, Miller fam. The, the Miller Island. Yeah. I would watch that hey, show. Pops, write that down. <laughs> the Miller <laughs> Island. That's that's a show. Survivor yeah. meets Gilligan's Island. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I just let me get a cameo. <laughs> all right. Favorite breakfast cereal. Favorite breakfast cereal. Man, I love cereal, but if I had to choose one. The Frosted Flakes with the bananas. With ban oh, well, you got that. That's something they look like on the, the sugar, commercial. The sugar on there. there it's That's all probably my go-to right there. All right, biggest guilty pleasure. Biggest guilty pleasure. I just love Netflix and chilling, man. Ah, oh, here he go. I'm just, here ladies, he if you down He Netflix wants to watch chill, Grease in the notebook, ladies. I'm just saying. <laughs> I got the hook up too. I got it for yeah, you. Yeah, he so. got it in, in the morning. You have some Frosted Flakes <laughs> with some bananas. <laughs> uh, favorite board game. Favorite board game. It's the setup. You say I'm setting you up right now. Does Uno count as a board game? Uno is. That's Uno, you ill at trouble, Uno. Then trouble. Trouble with the. Yeah, trouble is my game. Cause you know because I'm not. Because it's it's about luck and I feel I'm a very blessed human. Right. So, so when just, I play that, you already lost. That's all. Even though you're top. dependent on a roll of a dice, but I have so much faith that I'm like, look, this is what I need. Bam. In and out of trouble. Yeah. Well, you know I'm the illest at Connect Four. Connect Four? I, I'm, I keep that. I, 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 you trying to put me on the spot You don't right want now, the smoke? Bro? Next time, man. I, I was like, you know, time. get ready for it. I'm the illest at Connect Four. I'm, I'm just, just saying. but we can't gonna, say we you the illest and, not, and then say next time. We're going to give the people what they want next time. All right, man. I'm Pacquiao just saying. and Mayweather. Yeah, I'm me? just saying. Bring the smoke because it, <laughs> it, it can happen. My guy, Romeo Miller, yeah. uh, doing big things. Much continued success, King. Keep it going. before we get off, man, I got to tell you, we got my MTV franchise at Of course. You see how he says comes on. Thursday, franchise, Thursdays, as he calls it. Now, he didn't say show. Yeah, franchise. Another, that means it's been a, on for a long time. We got another big announcement coming from MTV, but, you know, you, I'm going to come back and talk about that. See, I can't speak on that right me, now. Me, Casa, and Sue, Casa, exactly. anytime you got an announcement, and anytime you want to pull up. Shoes. Well, no, I'm yeah, not yeah, going to oh, get Nick. Uh, We're going to give about t 10 more keep daps selling shit. before I leave. <laughs> He's, well, what else you got? We got the shoes. Go to Mignotti.com. What's your fly? I didn't get none. Nobody sent me none. I thought Pop sent them to you. Nah, nah, I'm going to oh. need that. You see where I'm at now. So <laughs> we got you. You got it. Yeah, so what, got else? what else? What else? Uh, Romeo Land Studios. We just got greenlit for five projects. I got Monster. Me and Pop's faith-based film, God is Real. Uh, get the bag, a whole a female uh, bass drum. Y'all getting it, man. Um, a lot more projects. Uncle Santa, my dad, comedy film. Yeah, yeah, I heard about yeah, that. So that's that's coming up. I'll be hitting you up to start some. But come on, man. <laughs> Please. Uh, employ me, Romeo. Oh, I got one more important uh, announcement. Here he go. <laughs> Ladies out there, follow me on Instagram. I bet oh, Normani's not gonna like this, Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> it's Romeo Miller, my brother. We in here up close to personal conversations. It's Nick Cannon mornings. Let's go.